22 years after the adoption of UN Security Council Resolution 1325 on Women, Peace, and Security, the evidence is clearer than ever of the importance of, and need for, this agenda. In Iraq, Libya, Syria, and Yemen, women human rights defenders, leaders, and peace builders continue to push for peace and are the driving force behind gender equality gains. But their efforts often go unrecognized. There is an increasing recognition in the global community of the urgent need to support women's participation in humanitarian responses. To address this, UN Women organized the Global Convening on Women's Leadership for Sustainable Peace, bringing together women leaders to exchange experiences for peaceful communities. Uh, hello everyone, this is Inas Miloud. I'm the co-executive uh, director of the Mazak Women Movement. It's a feminist, indigenous, and youth-led organization in Libya. We do a lot of work around WBS and, and YPS. One of the issues that have come up a lot is that women continue to be dismissed and ignored and excluded within the official and formal peace process. Also another issue that came up during this meeting is the threat. We need to always not compromise the participation of women within the official channels of the peace process. Hi, my name is Maram Shihab. I am the executive manager of SAM Organizations Initiative for Peace and Human Development. I think one of the biggest challenges we face in Yemen is lack of security. Peace requires security and less worry about poverty, like worrying about having food over uh, on your table or a roof over your head. And so I believe that in order for us to achieve that security, we have to empower women to become financially independent. How do we do that? Well, we do that by supporting what they're good at, by starting and helping them, uh, for example, start their own um, projects to become more dependent on themselves and away from being dependent on males in society and more towards individualism, female individualism tackling dependency and creating a society that is not easily swayed financially by the corrupt militias that use and utilize poverty to militarize innocent civilians. Peace requires stability, stability requires security, and security requires economic independence. Well, hearing that experience that's coming from different countries today in the room, like Iraq, Yemen, Syria, uh, even women from African countries were saying, sharing a lot of challenge they were saying. And what really like took my attention, the idea that women, all of them were at the same level of vulnerability, but different names, different categories, different fancy uh, titles beside names. But even most strong women in the room were kind of vulnerable in my point of view, at least. Responsibility for all of us to raise this question and work together to bring more women with disability from different backgrounds, different aspects, and hear from them and support them to change their local communities. 